Davening takeaway, the Kutit Torah, Bamidbar, Daf Pei Vav, the 86th page. On the staff, we see two different references to the Shema, which can combine to make a very nice meditation, his bonus during the Shema. It mentions the, the classic explanation that when we say Hashem El Echad, Hashem is one, that word Echad, spelled with three letters, Aleph, Ches, and Dalad, we can think that, uh, and, and meditate on the fact that the Ches, which has a numerical value of eight, represents this seven Rakim, the seven firmaments, and then the one which is the, the earth, making a total of eight. And Dalad represents the four points, four directions of a compass. So we have now the full three-dimensional space. And that, and everything in it, is one, Hashem is one, the Echad, the, the Aleph represents one, numerical value of one, and that is Hashem's oneness within all the created existence. We see that Hasidus enhances that by mentioning that we could think of Hashem in his essence, Atzimus Mahus. maybe we could say that's Echad, but we really can't say that's Echad. It's not one. Really, the proper term for that is Yochid, which means singular or unique. The only way we get to Echad is when we have a diversity, and in that seeming diversity, Hashem is truly one. And that one, oneness now envelops the entire, all of the created existence. And as we're meditating on that and realizing how amazing that Hashem is completely one with everything that exists, all the diverse beings and, and, and elements that this uh, created universe has, including spiritual worlds, that oneness will evoke, if we meditate properly and create a love for Hashem, because we are part of that oneness and Hashem is really us, or really we are part of Hashem. And with that, then it generates a love of Hashem. And that love then expresses itself in three different ways, we say in the Shema. And the mimer in this, on the this staff a little later explains that um, with all your heart, the classic explanation is with the two Yetzers. There's Yetzer Tov and a Yetzer Hara. And so we're supposed to love Hashem even with our Yetzer Hara. The Hasidus comes and explains that if our meditation is, is proper so that we realize that Hashem is truly one with everything, then the Yetzirah, that urge, that, that inclination, shall we say, that has a desire to create something for me, my selfish part of me, the separateness of the world part of me, when it then looks around, so to speak, after we've done proper meditation on the oneness of Hashem, it will look around and realize there is nothing else outside of Hashem. And so the separateness just dissolves away. That really, even though there are separate beings, really it's all in one whole with Hashem. Hashem is one. And it's all part of that oneness. And so the Yetzirah then finds uh, nothing to catch on to, to connect to. What's left is Hashem. And so even the Yetzirah, now when it has a desire, will have a desire for that oneness, just like our Yetzir Tov does. And so that will then create a complete oneness in, in, in our uh, feeling of our relationship with Hashem.